Don't leave me hanging. It's go time. Hey everybody, this is Josh, and welcome to Game 5 in a Best of 5 series being played between Root Destiny, our blue zerg down here in the bottom left corner of Crevasse, and his opponent, Root Dodoro, the purple Protoss up here in the top right hand corner of Crevasse, and Destiny asking if he'd ever seen Infester Ling Ultra, which we just saw on Game 4 on Typhon Peaks. Crazy, crazy stuff. Dodoro says he couldn't really do much. It's pretty much true. I mean... Oh, he's saying he had a lot of lag spikes, but honestly, Neural Parasite is an unblockable ability. Like, some good micro may have saved him one or two Neural Parasites, but man, that's it seems very, very difficult to deal with. Either way, Dodoro has been having some lag spikes tonight. His computer actually blew up during Game 3, and he had to reboot and come back, but... Um, so far, it's been pretty smooth for us as uh, spectators, and now we're here in Game 5 to Destiny... Uh, to Destiny. I just combined Adoro and Destiny. But Destiny showed us some pretty cool strategic stuff there in Game 4 on Typhon Peaks, but now here we are in Crevasse. Any player could win. Anything could happen. The winner will receive 25 bucks from Underline Entertainment if you want to go check them out. It's underlineent.com, and you can also see them on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter as Underline ENT. They are the official music sponsor sponsors of the North American Star League. So either way, no matter what happens, this is going to be our last game of the night. I am Josh Suth, or Ask Joshy on YouTube. You guys should know that by now. But Destiny is going to actually take this very, very safe natural here. There's only six mineral patches and a single Vespine Geyser. Not even a rich Vespine Geyser. Uh, but the fact that it's so safe and the only way you can get up there is this double wide ramp leading from your natural means that there are less resources here for you to actually mine. If you look out at the front ramp, it is only one hex wide or one force field wide until you break down those destructible debris. Then it's more like three. But um, where did Dodoro's probe just go? Did he just check up at the natural? There it is. So Dodoro getting a good look around inside of Destiny's base. He's going to see that spawning pool go down at about uh, 16 supply as well. Dodoro back at home, not doing anything sneaky. He does know where Destiny is now, though, so that's actually a good thing. Destiny is going to be a little bit slower finding his opponent, but he's going to send a drone scout just to make sure he knows exactly what Dodoro's up to as well. And Dodoro is also going to opt for the very safe sort of mini expansion here in the backdoor area. These uh, little double wide ramps leading into the natural make for a very, very safe expansion. Not surprised at all to see both players going for that. This probe from Dodoro is still just running around aimlessly. He's lost that probe so many times. Let's see if he can actually manage to hang on to it this time around. Hatchery is up for Destiny. Nexus about halfway done for Dodoro. Spawning pool finished now, so still just seeing drones being made from Destiny. He's got 150 minerals. There he goes on a queen at both the natural and the main, so that's good for him. Going to be able to get some creep spread, join those two bases, and then make his way towards Dodoro. This map is kind of maze-like, except when you have these cross positions. Then it's actually pretty straightforward. You have to run through the middle of the map here. No matter what, there are just cliffs on all sides if you try to circumvent that. Actually, I guess, um, no, you pretty much have to. Unless you break down these destructible rocks and go a very long path around the outside, this middle path here uh, by the Zelnaga Towers is going to be your easiest way to get to your opponent's base. So Destiny knows exactly where Dodoro is. Dodoro knows exactly what's up with Destiny. Both of these players just settling into their build orders now. Dodoro does have two gas up already before dropping a second gateway even. He's working off of two bases, so really his options are wide open right now. Destiny back at home dropping that third extractor, actually one, two, and three all at one time, so it makes me wonder if he's going to try and go for those infestors again or try and switch it up a little bit since Dodoro might be expecting that. Warpgate tech is being chrono boosted out. No big deal there. Is he going to drop that third assimilator? I'll be interested to see that in the near future. Destiny actually got his minerals up to about 600. Not sure what he's banking so many minerals for, what tech direction he's going to choose to go. But now that all three gas are finished, he, of course, is going to dump three workers in each one. So now his gas income really destroying Dodoro's right now, or should be. Uh, working off of those three gas instead of Dodoro's two. Yeah, there we see it actually start to spike now. 350 against 240. Dodoro dropping a pylon. This is a great spot for a pylon. It lets you drop down in the lower area, the upper area, or the 
sort of two hex down, super low ground. Going to cut that uh, warp in and running time by a little bit. Dodoro's going for the six gate. All right, so this is a build that TT1 sort of popularized in MLG Dallas 2010. He defeated Machine, TLO, and I think at least one other Zerg, not sure who, maybe even Rhett, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, he showed off this six gate style off of two bases against a ton of Zerg players at MLG Dallas 2010. And the counter, if you didn't know, to a six gate Protoss on two bases, fast burrowed roaches. So he is getting a hatchery into a lair very quickly, but he doesn't have a roach warren up. Basically, it's the perfect thing to do because your opponent is spending so much money on units and uh, warp gates and everything like that. He's going to cut production on probes eventually here and just focus directly on building more units. But he's not going to build in a robotics facility. Usually he won't build that robotics facility until a little bit later when he realizes that his opponent already has Burrow. So if Destiny realizes what's happening fast enough, he can actually start to do that. Otherwise, I'm not sure what he's going to do once this lair is finished could be uh, just <laughs> more lings. I'm, I don't know. More infestors would not surprise me at all. But uh, this is going to be a ton of units, a truckload of units barreling down on Destiny here in the near future. And Destiny's actually going to lose an Overlord right there. I see him splatter. So that is perfect for Dodoro. He could not have asked for a better situation moving down here now with his first bucket of sentries. He's got six sentries here dropping force fields all around these zealots. His zealots actually are killed off though, so it's just sentries against Zerglings right now. That probe goes down, so no forward pylon is going to be built there. There is one back here, just a little bit farther back next to those Zelnaga towers, so Dodora's going to continue these warpins. Destiny cutting drone production. He's just making 18 links right now to try and survive this attack. The infestation pit is at 42% or 84% done, I guess, but more links coming out. Is He's definitely not going to have pathogen glands in time, but he might make a couple of infestors. He might actually need to use all of his larvae actually to build links right now. Pulling uh, a single drone off of gas, not sure if that was intentional or not, but all these spine crawlers going up are going to keep him alive a little bit longer. Dodoro breaking down this destructible debris, so there's no real bottleneck here. He's just going to keep marching up through here and see what's going to happen. Five spine crawlers here soon for uh, Destiny. He's got a lot of lings. He's got a three queens here to help defend as well. Pathogen lands researching, so if he can manage to stop this six gate push, he'll do something that a lot of those players at MLG were unable to do. Good timing by Destiny throwing up those spine crawlers, and it's lucky actually, or fortunate, maybe not lucky, that he had enough workers to actually be able to sacrifice and build all these spine crawlers in that very narrow timing that managed to keep him alive. So Dodoro, not sure what he can actually do now. He is getting up a robotics facility, but those pathogen glands and infestors have already started, so we are going to see a little shift in gears from Destiny away from those speedlings into infestors. He's got a ton of spine crawlers up here. Six spine crawlers is quite a lot. Infestation Pit finishes Pathogen Glands right before those three Infestors finish, so that's going to be great for him. The uh, Tier 1 forces, of course, from Dodoro have not gone anywhere. They're just lying in wait for Destiny to try and come out here and play. Four Infestors will certainly be uh, pretty good to come out and play, though. Fungal Gross all over these Tier 1 units will wear them down very quickly, so Dodoro, realizing what's happening maybe, uh, is starting to back off now. I don't think he actually got vision of that Infestation Pit, but he could kind of guess what was happening inside of that one base of Destiny. Destiny actually manages to get out with some Zerglings, break down this forward pylon, and suddenly I don't feel too good about Dodoro. Uh, he is at 96 supply against 63, which is actually pretty massive, but those Fungal Growths can rip through him pretty quick. 47 Harvesters for Dodoro, 49 now, 37 for Destiny. Will he be able to break this down? It looks like Dodoro did get the cancel, so not too big of a loss there. Destiny is dropping a hatchery out here. It's a full-size expansion. has all eight mineral patches and two Vespine geysers, so I like that move. Uh, Dodoro actually taking his natural as well, of course, with this Nexus coming down. After that single cancel, so Destiny did a good job there. He has not started researching Neural Parasite yet. Looks like he does want to try and get on three bases here soon. Observer in the air for Mr. Dodoro. He is going to be able to check out everything here. Uh, he's starting to move again with these big tier 1 forces. All these stalkers, sentries, and zealots making their way across the middle of the map. They are going to run into these lings. Destiny is just going to run off to the side. They are much faster than any of those gateway units. Lots of creep tumors here, so the fact that Destiny had to build an extra queen for defense is actually helping him out even further, being able to spread that creep very quickly and bring his spine crawlers down to the front of his defenses. Dodoro probably looking to make a switch here. Yeah, he's getting that robotics bay up soon, so he'll be able to create Colossus one at a time out of this robotics facility eventually. However, if Destiny does get that Neural Parasite, we could just see a repeat of what we saw in Typhon Peaks. These Lings from Destiny about to hit 2-2, so pretty good move there. I like that. 
lots of spine crawlers still just hanging out here at the natural. Uh, Dodoro continuing his warpins as often as he can. He's sitting at 123 supply against 91. Oh, here we go. Some links moving in from Destiny. He's going to crash right into the stalkers and sentries. More stalkers and zealots off to the left side. He's going to run into these cannons. Where are the links actually going to end up? They're actually going to get all the way into the main. That is pretty interesting. There are no cannons here, no fighting forces. He is trying to take down the robotics bay very quickly. I don't know if he's actually going to be able to power this down before Dodoro returns home or gets some units warped in. This is going to be very close. There's not that many links left. But he is actually going to take out the Robotics Bay. There was one Colossus about to finish in production, so he will be able to spit that out at least and before rebuilding that Robotics Bay. But no extended Thermal Lance is coming yet, and the Colossus just pops out right on top of those Lings, ends that threat. So Destiny buying himself some time there with the Robotics Bay. I like it. PPP. PPP. -p -p. All right, so uh, Destiny getting a nice little swing in his favor. Check that out. Look at the production tab real quick. Neural Parasite, plus two ground armor, plus two melee, 17 drones being made at once. That loss of that robotics bay was so much, it made Dodoro's head spin. He had to pause the game. He is actually lagging out now, though, that he's paused. Uh, it looks like he probably just tabbed out, though. Hive, about 62% complete. Soon we'll be seeing some ultras, perhaps. Neural Parasite will be done sooner than later as well. Sorry, go. Destiny says go. Destiny's got to like the position he's in here. Even though he's down 30 supply, his tech is pretty, pretty far beyond what Dodoro's got right now. Dodoro sitting at 0 0 upgrades. These 2 2 upgrades on these lings are going to make a massive difference here soon if Dodoro doesn't try to keep up. More creep tumors pushing this creep ever farther. Wow, that's a lot of creep tumors. And he's just going to keep pressing his way on all the way to the Zelnaga Towers. Dodoro is combining his forces. Now this is a huge gateway force starting to move through. That's what you get when you make six gates off of two bases. Now he's on three, though. Let's look at the Harvester count. Destiny is ahead 70 to 61. So he's got the stronger economy. Hallucination being researched now. Stargate coming along. Photon cannon being built God knows where. Probably near a mineral line somewhere. Whoop. They start to press in, but actually see those spine crawlers and then head back toward the middle of the map. Ultralisk Cavern. Will it be built? Is the hive complete? Yep. He does not have a cavern or a den. I'm not sure what it is, actually. Is it a cavern or a den? I think it's a cavern. If it's if it's a den, then I got screwed up because of Brood War. And that barely ever happens, because I only played Brood War when I was like 13 years old. Destiny bouncing around now, still building more infestors, getting adrenal glands for his zerglings, so soon they'll be cracklings. It is a cavern! Okay, so it was actually a den in Brood War. I'm not making that up. Spore Crawler coming up for Destiny, not sure if he saw that Stargate or what, but he is getting prepared for it nonetheless. Destructible rocks being broken down by Dodoro, so he's going to actually have all of his attack paths open. Lots and lots of infestors here, nine infestors. Uh, most of them, actually all of them, very full on energy, so these neural parasites and these fungal growths could make a huge, huge difference here in just a moment. How many colossi do we have here? Only two colossi, but this void ray makes for such a good neural parasite target. If anything, these uh, many, many stalkers and sentries on the ground will actually be able to target that void ray and kill it down extremely quickly. Well, if Dodoro's not careful, that is. And since he's been lagging throughout the series, it could be difficult to micro in that situation. A couple of lings testing the front here of Dodoro. It looks like Destiny really wants to start moving in here soon. He's making a spire. Okay, so he's got that Ultralisk Cavern already finished somewhere, and now getting a spire up as well. Looking for that cavern. Did he cancel it? Nope, it's still finished. He's getting that chitinous plating, so those Ultralisks will be super-duper armored. Interesting that Dodoro still has not built a forge. He is building two Void Rays at a time now out of two Stargates. He's basically given up on Colossi after seeing those investors, and he's getting a Mothership right now. I really hope that that Mothership actually completes. Dodoro fighting for map vision over here. He actually has a 12 supply advantage, but Destiny, I still really like Destiny's tech options here. Now that he has Neural Parasite done, if that Mothership gets a Neural Parasite, he can drop a Vortex on Dodoro's own army. He can take over all these Colossi, take over those Void Rays. He's got Hallucinated Phoenix just hanging out here watching the movement of these Speedlings. No big deal there. All these Infestors, 10 Infestors with full energy are quite a lot, so Fungal Growths, Infested Swarm, all that good stuff going to be coming down very, very quickly, and it'll be up to Dodoro to try and micro and uh, sustain a lead throughout all that. Destiny actually taking the supply lead now, 188 to 179, making those three Ultralisks at a time. Infest, uh, not Infestor count, Harvester count, 
favoring Dodoro now. Not sure where they all went. Actually, he's making two more expansions, so he is double expanding right now, trying to get way ahead on worker count. Still bouncing in and out. Now the first Lings and Infestors up on the high ground. Oh, drop a money fungal right on those Zealots. Going to do, do so much damage, and these Zealots have no armor upgrades. Keep in mind, all these Lings are at 3-3, three, three, and Dodoro sitting at only 1-0, starting to get the second upgrade in now. Mothership going to be done sooner than later as well. Going to be here soon. I wonder if Destiny realizes it, and he's just waiting to try and fungal that bad boy, or that bad girl, I guess. All these 3 3 speed things. Look at that. Hallucinated. <laughs> he neural parasited a hallucinated phoenix. It actually had its own timer uh, for the hallucinate, or for the neural parasite, sorry, and then went back to the hallucinated phoenix timer. I actually don't think I have ever seen a hallucinated neural parasite target. That is pretty interesting. But now the mothership is here. There are eight void rays in a mommy ship, so uh, Destiny will really, really need to be on top of things with these ten infestors. He's going to parasite the mothership. I feel like he probably will. Greater Spire coming in now. He's making three ultras still. Where are those big, ba uh, big bad Beetleborgs? Six of them sitting here lying in wait. Three more going to join the party. Greater Spire going to be done soon as well, so if these... Oh my god, Fungal on the Hallucinated Phoenixes. Totally worth it, guys. Totally worth it. He's going to kill these two Hallucinated Phoenixes. It takes three Fungals to kill Hallucinated Phoenixes. Destiny just used three Fungals to kill units with a life expectancy. That is interesting, but um, <laughs> this is a lot of Void Rays, like I said. Does he got... Or does he have... Oh my god, I can't believe I said that. Does he have any air upgrades? No, he doesn't. He's sitting at zero, zero. Might want to actually invest in those shield upgrades since it will benefit all of his air and his ground units. That Greater Spire is going to be done here soon. Flyer attacks level one coming along. There are a lot of Ultralisks on the map now, people. He's got nine Ultras here, ten Infestors with basically full energy. It looks like this confrontation is bound to happen here. Dodoro dropped the Nexus and canceled it very quickly. Both players banking quite a lot of minerals, but Destiny... If he has to remax, he'll be able to do it very quickly. Dodoro's setting at 180 supply. Oh, I thought I just thought he said GG, but he actually said pause, please. He is preparing for this micro battle of a lifetime. <laughs> Dodoro actually has some pretty bad lag, so he does not want to mess this up. This is going to be so ridiculous. The series is tied 2-2. Someone just asked in the chat. This is for all the money in all the series right now. Go, go. Here we go. They're saying go, go. Are they actually going to do it, or is Destiny just going to mill around with his Lingenfester Ultra? He's got... Look at the damage. 21 normal damage, 47 against armored targets, 6 armor. Poor Dodoro only has a mothership <laughs> with 0, zero weapons. His ground forces at least have 2-0. Soon they will be at 3-0. Destiny just bouncing around. He might as well make his move. He's maxed. I mean, 195 supply. You're not going to get much better than that. He is actually just getting a ton of upgrades right now. Check that out. Flyer, armor, and attack. So he's got a double spire situation going on. I'm not even sure where those guys are. Here's one of them. Don't know where the greater spire is. It looks like I have some time to click around. Both of their armies look to be pretty dormant for the timing. Yeah, there's a greater spire. Normal spire at that third base. Getting double upgrades. So the longer he waits... Stronger his future Broodlords will be, but right now he's not benefiting by not attacking. He could actually attack, kill a lot of Dodoro's forces at least, and then remax with Broodlords very quickly, or Corruptors at least, and just start morphing immediately and try to have that next force ready to go. Hallucinated Phoenix is still just constantly parked over this army. Destiny trying to keep tabs on the movements of Dodoro's army. Where is he? He's going. He's backing up again. You have a maxed army with full upgrades. You might want to actually attack. Uh, Dodoro is taking this time to upgrade as well. I mean, he's going to be at 3-0 here soon for his ground units, 1-0 for his air units if we wait too much longer. Destiny has 10 Ultralisks, 10 Infestors, and a million Speedlings. He really should try and take this into his own hands here. There's nothing really slowing him down. Here we go, finally. Oh, no. Guardian Shield gets cast. There are no ranged units here, really, except for Infested Swarm Eggs, potentially. That mothership is... Begging to be neural parasited, but Destiny just barely doesn't see it. Now Dodoro is starting to move into the middle of the map. Destiny making 28 lings right now to fill up his max supply. Dodoro is already max as well. He's going to be sitting at 1 0. He's actually at 3 0 on his ground units. And Overseer flies in first. But what's going to happen next? Oh my goodness, look at this positioning. 
the Infestors don't do anything, and they Vortex all those Ultras. The Infestors did not do their job right there. They needed to Neural Parasite any and all units visible. Actually, Dodoro with this positioning. Check this out. Uh, Destiny actually can't... No, he does! He does Neural Parasite the Mothership, but of course that Infestor dies instantly to all the units that were underneath it, so that was basically pointless. Uh, Destiny's going to need some better positioning here. He's making 23 Corruptors, people. He lost so much supply there. He's making 23 Corruptors that he's going to turn into Broodlords. That was ridiculous. And Destiny, yes, he has a ton of money saved up, but so does Dodoro. He's just going to be able to warp in immediately uh, from whatever losses that he has. Still just upgrading only um, upgrades right now. No incoming units. Starting to march through the middle of the map with the Protoss Death Ball from Hell. Soon he'll have plus two weapons ready and plus one armor there on his ground units. Destiny remaxing though. He built a ton of Corruptors. He still has plenty of money to actually make these guys into Broodlords. He doesn't have any supply though. <laughs> oh my goodness. Did he make... Did he max on Corruptors and not have enough supply for Broodlords? Anyway, he's sacking a lot of Zerglings here. Look at that big fungal. Let's check just the HP bars. Vortex goes down and all the units from Destiny get sucked in. Let's see what actually happens. This is a ton of Void Rays too, people. Don't get me wrong. He's got 16 Void Rays in the air right now with 1-0 upgrades. He's got a lot of Stalkers here. And bam, they pop out and get fried. They get absolutely fried by the Void Rays and the Mothership. Destiny just totally losing all of his advantage here. Uh, these Void Rays and this Mothership combo doing wonders here for Dodoro. He's going to continue to march on in. Destiny trying to remax quickly. He doesn't have the same resource count that he used to have. Those can be very difficult. Those Colossi really just ripped that Vortex group to shreds. These Void Rays now getting fungled out here in the front, but it's not going to be enough. He doesn't have any more Infestors back here. He's going to lose that hatch. No problemo. Now the Spire being targeted down with those plus two Flyer attacks. Not going to happen. Sorry. Void Rays still moving in now. All at various levels of charge. Actually, they're killing things so fast they're not charging up at all. Six Infestors coming in. The Corruptors trying to do their damage here from the, the left side, but Dodoro just has so many units. They fill up the entire screen. Not even sure where their mothership is. Here he is coming in from the side. Destiny realizes he could have done that a little better. GG's out of there, and Root Dodoro is going to be our champion. Three weeks running after defeating FXO T-Gun in Week 1. Vile Hash in Week 2, and his teammate and friend Root Destiny in Week 3. Congratulations to Dodoro. He'll be back next week to face a new opponent Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern U.S. time. Once again, this show match was sponsored by Underline Entertainment. Go check them out at underlineent.com. They're Underline ENT on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter as well. So go check them out. They're the official music sponsors of the North American Star League. That's it for the cast. Thank you very much to the 300 live viewers and all of the VOD viewers on YouTube.com slash AskJoshi. See you guys uh, next week if I don't see you sooner.